Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. See me again. Okay, so today uh, we will talking about toucan. Toucan. Okay, this is a very colorful bird. And you know what's special about this bird? Look at the picture and tell me what's special about this bird. Who know? What's special about that bird, guys? What do you see? What do you see in this one? Which toucan? What's special about this bird? What is this? You see, usually all of the bird, they're big, really small, or long, or thin, right? But this one, look at that. They have a big, they call bill, a big, okay? They have a very big bill, and it's very colorful, okay? So that's why this book, when you see that, you cannot forget that, right? Okay? Uh, it's black and sharp and colorful. That's why they special about this one right here, the, their bill, okay? And their bills are you call bits. They long like that, so they can reach to the foot at the tip of the branch where all the other birds cannot reach. Because most of the birds, their beak is a really small or short, right? And they all, you don't know what kind of um, thing this one eat. Who know What two can can eat? Seeds. Uh-huh. Worms. Uh-huh. Is it, uh they can bite in pieces. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this bird, they like, you know, most of the bird, they like to eat insect, right? Small reptile mm -hmm. and other bird eggs. And sometimes they like to eat uh, fruit or leaves too, right? Whatever they can find, easy for them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they have a relative with the woodpecker. You know the woodpecker? That bird, like this. Yeah, the bird, they like to go on the tree and just do their pick and knock on the tree, right? Just don't tease them. Yeah, don't tease them, okay? So, two can are the woodland bird, okay? And uh, let's see. The two can lap bill have it trick for far away food because it's long and big, so they can reach far away. What is fruit far away they can reach, okay? And they don't fly a lot. They hopping. You know why? Do you know why this bird don't like to fly a lot? They just hopping from this tree to the other one. Is it because their beaks are maybe too heavy? What do you think? What do you guys think? What do you think? Too heavy. Too heavy. Yes. Too heavy. This beak is really big, almost more than the body. So. So that's why it's hard for them to fly, not easy for them to fly like the other bird. So that's why they like to hop in more. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. yes uh -huh. and they like to nap in natural tree and don't make by the other bird. Huh? You know, bird, they like to make the nest on the tree, right? Most of the bird make the nest on the tree because they can fly, they up there. And that, this one, sometimes they take the net from the other birds. Oh, they don't like to build themselves. The babies. Yes, and yeah. yes, they have <laughs> a baby on the net. Don't touch my babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the some birds, some birds, they just lie the by one or two birds, but this mm -hmm. one, they like to hang out with the whole big group, okay? A large group. Usually they go with the whole large group. They're not by themselves or one or two, okay? And the baby too can call the fledglings, okay? And when they just born, they don't have feather. The baby too can, when they born, they don't have feather. And they also born blind. They don't see when they just born, okay? No feather cannot see, okay? And the young chicken, they can stay on the net for a few weeks until their body completely develop enough for them to 
Get out the net, leave by themselves. Okay. No, no feather naked. Uh huh. Yeah, no, no feather and cannot see when they just born. That's how they um born. But after that, they start develop and they have a beautiful color, especially with the big right there. Okay. And their birth, they can live for up to twenty years in the wild. You know, when you go to the tropical bird, uh, forest or something, you will see a lot of this one, and they can live for 20 years, okay? And they live in the tropical forest of South America, as well as in Central America. It means in America, you can find a lot of this bird here in the forest. And we just learned about the forest about a week ago, right? Okay. And um, people wonder why the two can have a big, big like that, okay? So the scientists do some research and they have evidence that the long beak of the two can regulate it with the heat distribution, okay? They acting as a thermal radiator of sorts, okay? So just like the thermal radiator and some people like to have the bird this bird like a pet okay uh, not a lot of people can have that but some they like to have that and you know how much it cost for a chicken just guessing usually with the bird if you go to the store you buy maybe uh, under a hundred right so you mm -hmm. can burn the store out of the case, you can walk, walk down the path. Mm -hmm. But this bird can cut around a thousand from a printer, okay? So this bird is uh, expensive. Mm -hmm. And when you have a bird, you need to know how to take care of them. Good. So they can live long and healthy, right? Okay. And this bird is a little bit big because this one. So you need an when you buy that you need to make sure that the legal state okay because not everywhere you can buy that some state allow you to do that some may not so make sure you need to have a permit when you do that and let's see how many two can left in the world so right now they believe it's about ten thousand the major individual about ten thousand of this bird around the world okay this is not a lot but it's not like like in danger in something so it's okay but not a lot of two can right now just about a ten thousand of them okay so today we will try to draw the two can here so the bird is uh, easy and um, let's see Usually, we always start with the head right here, right? Okay, so let's see. You can have your paper on the horizontal like that. So just... Okay. So we start right here. Just one line. Good. Okay. And this one for the big. Okay. And this will be the body right here. They have a little bit long tail here, so we can have right here first. Okay, and now we go to the big, they have a long big one. Mm -hmm. 
they have a little bit different color right here, right? Most of them is uh, the body black, but they have some little color around here. So let's see. Just have an eye right here first. And you can have a, some... Mm. Okay. okay, yes, yeah. Make it good so you can show your friend, okay? Let's start the wing here. And both usually they have a small leg right there, okay? And the bird play on the tree, right? So we just draw the friends somewhere right here. So you start from here. Okay. We'll draw some leaf in here, right? One longer three here, three here. Thank you. Okay. So that's the three. So this bird, they um, have a lot of color especially and right. on their feet. So you see that right here? Yeah. On the top of the it it's just cross more like this. Now we can use some, get some color in here, okay? So this one, you can use some color right here. Some different color here. And this one, you can color different colors, just like yellow or orange, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, me out in the world. What kind of bird is that, Tweed? Two two can. Two can. Uh -huh. yeah. And you know the head is black, but before after you color the black, you can have a, some outline color, just whatever color you like, just like this. <laughs> Right, and not the wing. So you just have a soft outline color out here. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. And the tail. And their tails, they have a long tail here. And even if black, but you can add some color in here. Tweed, where does the toucan live? They live in a tropical forest in oh. South America. It's been in Central America. Got it. It's right here. What are you doing there? Mind your business, Bumblebee. <laughs> so you can add whatever color you like because that book is a colorful okay so let's see a little bit cream here whatever color you like a little bit cream here okay Whoa. and that's the leaf you can color some color for the leaf And the branch of the tree, you can kind of like uh, brown, so pink, purple. Okay. And the bird is <laughs> and the rest you can have a plant in here. I know at home you might not be able to see the bird on the screen, but wow, is that pretty? Ooh. Wow. We are so fortunate to be able to have art class today, right guys? Oh. Very cool. No. I hope it, wow. you guys are following along and making a two-can. Oh. Okay, so basically that's a two-can there and who finished already? I finished. You finished? Okay, Martina, you first. Okay, you want to show your friend, Mark? Okay, let's see. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so this part is a two can bird. Okay. Can you show them? Uh huh, yeah. Can you show them? Yeah. That's a thing. Mark have a nice job today. Good job, Mark. Thank you. And who next? Okay, Mark, what's You're a king. <laughs> okay, be careful, Marky. Okay, let's see, Mark the fiber. Okay, good job, Mark. And you just need to color that, okay? Thank you, Mark. Okay, who next? Oh, Jolene. Okay. Let's see, Jolene Burr. Oh, nice. And she even signed her name in there already and colored that. Good job, Jolene. Thank you. And who next? Travis, did you finish, Travis? Yes. Okay, let's see, Travis bird. Mm. Nice. You haven't shown your friends your bird. Okay, look at, wow. Good job, Travis. 
Very good, Travis. Good job. Thank you. Okay, go next. Quickly. <laughs> Not your favorite. Okay, let's see, Vicky. Oh, nice. Very good. Very cute. Hi, nice job, Vicky. Shannon, your turn. Okay, let's see, Shannon. Let's see. Oh, okay. That's Shannon Burke here. It's your Burke. Very good. Good, Shannon. Thank you. Tonight, Rochelle. Okay, after Rochelle, you. Okay, Katie? Yeah, he's going to skip it today. Anyone else want to do that? Rochelle. Matt, do you want to go say hi to anyone? No, not yet. You'll save it for piano class. Let's see, Rochelle. Okay, here, Rochelle Burp. Good job, Rochelle. Thank you. Kathy. 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 Let's see, Kathy. Okay, that's Kathy Burke. Thank you, Kathy. Good job. And now, Timothy. Debbie, did you show your bird? Not yet. Let Timothy first. Come on, Tim. Go show your bird. Hurry up. Bird flies away. Okay. Okay, let's see, Tim. Let's see. Okay, let's see. That team birth. Okay, thank you, team. Very good, and Debbie. Okay, Debbie. Let's see, Debbie birth. Oh, nice job, Debbie. Okay. Good job, Debbie. Thank you. Everybody did a good job. Okay. So that's very good, everyone. And everybody did a very good job. And uh, we see you next week. Okay. What do you guys say? Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Because we're going to show you some quick birds that Miss Tweed was talking about. And you know what? My favorite bowl of cereal, Fruit Loops. Oh, you can yeah. uh, I'm part of the box. You guys know what I'm talking about? Absolutely. Has anyone held a bird on their arm or finger? Oh, you have, have you? I do. You, you have? Uh, you have one with the bird. It's me. It was? Aww. <laughs> have you, Shannon? A bird on one. Yep, a bird on your hand or your finger. Not you. Very cool. Very cool. They really are lovely. And um, my understanding, the brighter, the brighter, the brighter they are, it's because of their diet. Maybe the grass or the vegetables. I know. I made you laugh. Sorry about that. You know what? We're having way too much fun on live stream. Who loves it here in ADP? Learning yeah. with fun. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Okay. You know what, you guys? Open your packets. Open your packets. You went home. I'm going to pop on in. I'm going to pop on in. Here I come. Hey, we're way too close. Um, can you back that up? No one needs to see this. My oh, my. Hi. Okay. What day is it, Frankie? Tuesday. Tuesday. Today it's Tuesday all day. Some people say it's Taco Tuesday, but today it is Piano Tuesday. I think so. We're going to go ahead and um, if you can, Travis, do you have your uh, packet out? Oh, you're going to finish up your bird? I apologize. Finish up your bird. Um, and then you can show it when you're done, Travis. I would love that. Okay. I'm going to just do my best. And again, you guys, I have many skills. Reading is not one of them. Bear with me. I wish you guys at home were here. I know, right? Oh, Lord. 88 keys. Did you guys know that? 88 keys in a piano. 88. Wow. 52 of them are white and 36 of them are black. They all make different sounds, all that good stuff. Let's find out a little bit more about the piano. 
Piano is a keyboard musical instrument that has wire strings that sound when struck by felt covered hammer operated by a keyboard. Felt, let me read that again. Struck by felt covered hammers operate. That's interesting. So I guess if you were to tap on a piece of paper, it, it makes a sound. Right. So if there's 88, wow, way to go, big word. 88 keys, each of them make a word, or each of them make a sound. Very cool. And let's see, compa oh, God. Seven full, oh, Lord. Yep, they all make awesome noises. All right, here we go. There have been many great pianists over time and various styles. That means various styles. Want to learn about that? Many different pianists. Let's figure it out. What are the three types of pianos? Can anyone help me with that? Can you guys tell me? If I were to say there's a really big piano, what would you call it? Maybe help me out at home. There's a word. Grand. That means large. It's a grand piano. I wish I had a picture up, but like this nose here, this beak, it's grand. Yep, the piano is grand. I'm sorry about the photo. But in our, in our, here we go, I just looked at my packet. In our packet, that would be a grand piano or an upright would be the next word. Upright. Yep, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Good. And, um, and then there also is, the upright also might be, and I could be mistaken, um, the backing. It, it, it kind of looked like a cabinet, if you will. And then it had the 88 keys with the 52 and the 30, the 52 white and the 36 black uh, keys. So, and then we also have an electric, an electric piano or electric keyboard. And we're here lucky here at Elwyn, ones at home, you guys might have pianos, you might have the talent, but here at Elwyn, we actually have a keyboard. Wanna see it? Not yet. Sight. What is the piano used for? What? Music. Music. There you go. The piano is widely employed in classical, jazz, traditional, and popular music. Solo assembled performance, uh, accompaniment, and compose songwriters in rehearsals. So basically, have you ever had seen someone either on TV or in person play the piano and have someone stand next to them or even sit next to them sing? No. There's been music awards. There's been TV videos. I'm pretty certain you guys watch some videos. Yes. I have a weddings too. I'm wedding. Oh, yeah, weddings. Oh, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Matt? Come on now, you've been to a few. I've seen the photos. How blessed you are. We um there there's just music is such a lovely thing. It's so fortunate that we have different genres. But there in piano, there's three different types. Just a minute, my turn, your turn, right? We're gonna share. My turn, your turn. Oh yeah, I apologize. I love that one. We might as well jump in in church too. Okay, you know, got to throw that in. Now, why is the piano the best instrument? Again, I think that can be disputed, but I think it's soothing and beautiful, and I think anyone can play it. And I think if we ask some of our friends here at Elwyn, they might show you. I can play it, Carrie. Okay, well, not right now. Your turn, my turn. The piano train players on all four harmonic parts of music most instrument instruments only allow playing one note at a time after learning to play the piano all other instruments are much easier to learn i didn't know that 
So maybe the piano is the most difficult. I don't know. I, I don't know. For this reason, many people gravitate towards the piano lessons to begin at the young age. How many people actually took piano lessons? I know my parents wasted a dollar or two. Whoa. Absolutely. Yep. Patricia, your sister wasted. Yep. Absolutely. Frankie? My sister plays the piano. She does? No, my dad teaches her how to do it. Aww. And it sounds lovely? Yeah, lovely. Oh, fabulous. I like it. I bet you do. What type of music? What type of music is piano? Well, well, that's tricky to say because it can be almost anything. If someone plays it fast, you start snapping and dancing fast. If someone plays it slow, you start being very calm. If some, my turn, your turn. If someone starts playing it with a beat that you remember, you start tapping your toes or you clap. So I just think songs and piano is important. From classical to jazz, piano makes an impression. Um, like we just talked about. Music makes you whistle. Music makes you happy. Music can make you sad. Music can be in church. Music can be at a wedding, at a party, right? Yep, and at home. Piano is an entire orchestra in itself but sometimes it sounds is a part of a big symphony orchestra. okay that's a tough one now, lots and lots of different elements of music have you seen a trumpet no. have you on tv have you seen a guitar have you seen a uh or harmonica and then a piano. All those are beautiful sounds. And if you play the same tune, if you read the same music sheet, sounds like a symphony, sounds like an orchestra. And when you go to a play or to a live music, it sounds amazing. It really does. Okay, so back to the piano. We don't have a piano here at Elwyn. But we are fortunate to have a keyboard is that what this is called yes okay so we're so fortunate and we have lots of other instruments and we have them in the art room next door so i think one day we'll just have an array of music a symphony music i have no idea what we'll do here um Oh, okay. Okay, let's get the roller chairs out of the way because I don't want anyone to sit on a roller chair. And um, do we want friends to come up and show us? Sure. Okay. So what I'll do at first at this point, just hang tight for just a minute. I'm not 100% sure about all of this, but on this particular one, the girls and I opened this up just this morning. It was all wrapped up in cellophane, brand, brand new. Travis, thank you so much for your help. How many batteries did we put in here, Travis? Six. We did, six. And he screwdriver opened it up. He was so helpful. Thank you again, Travis. Thank you. And um, I'm going to push this red button, power on, and then all of a sudden... Oh, boy. I know. You can hear that. And then that's a high-pitched sound, right? That's really high in your ears. Kind of almost sounds like a villain. Very low. <laughs> right? Low, low, low. If I'm talking real high, Frankie, Frankie, be quiet. Right? Frankie, Frankie, what are you doing? Right? These are all sounds. I said a number. You at home. You at, at home. I said a number. Matt Nira. I said a number. How many numbers were there? How many numbers, you guys, on the keys? Okay, five and three, eight, eight keys. A few different colors, black and white, right, guys? 88 keys. I still think there very well might be 
here? Yeah. I, I didn't get them, I'm not sure. But all these make a different noise and or sound. We also actually have here, we can make drum noises. Um, I think if you press zero, five, um, wow. that sounds like a what? Oh. Maybe a violin? How fun is that? An organ. An organ. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay, I'm going to go to a number 10 and tell me what instrument you sound. All right, here we go. Ready? I'm going to find number 10. Besides, a, like? besides like traffic in the 405. Oh. <laughs> what about this? Oh, oh, you know what, Brady? You were so smart. Did you at home guess that too? I know the violin sounded like the violin. But let's try something else. Okay, listen up. Here we go. Um, I'm going to try to trick you guys. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'm picking number 14. One, four. Okay, one, four. Um, gosh, that's disappointing. Sounds the same. How about this? Oh, it's pitchy. Oh, that's really me, 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 me. <laughs> We're warming up our voices. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and jump out of that. And if I do zero, zero. Okay. Let's just try. Has Does anyone have knuckles? I did the Show me your fists. If you have five hands. Five fingers, each hand, high fives, air high fives out there. Bum, bum. There's, if you close them, it makes a fist. Now, Grandpa, when I was about five, mm -hmm. showed me how to roll my knuckles on these 88 keys. Whoa. And it made a very silly noise. Do you want, to sh want me to show you? Yes. Debbie, want me to show you over there? Yes. All right, here we go. I'm going to place my knuckles on the keyboard, <laughs> and I'm going to... Oh. And oh then, that's it. That's what I got. Does anyone else have a Travis? Do you want to try your song? Yeah. Do you want to try it? Yes. We did a song. And what song did we choose earlier? Oh, she forgot it out. Old McDonald had a farm. Over we did. I do remember that. Come on over, Travis. Come on, Travis. And then remember when we did. And then we stopped. Good job. Okay. Travis, can you introduce yourself to the friends at home? Oh, here we go. There we go. Can you introduce yourself to the friends at home? Can you say hello? What's your name? Hi, friends. And, and who are you? My name is Carrie Snyder. Who are you, sir? Travis. Yes. And where are you? What room are you in? ADP. Are you having a good time? Yes. And then you wear your mask and feel safe? Yes. Have you been going on outings lately? Yes. Where have you gone? On Wednesday through Friday. And then where did you go to visit at an outing? I'm not sure. Did you go to a park and have lunch outside for fresh air? Yes. You did. And by chance, did you see any birds? Mm -hmm. yes. Or a squirrel? Yes. I bet you did. Okay. Well, guess what? And pretty soon, I don't think you know this yet. It might be a surprise, but I'm going to blow it for you. We might be going to a farm. Are you on board with that? Oh, does that sound fun? Yay! Thumbs up on that one, Travis says. So in lieu of this farm visit, who wants to help Travis play Old McDonald had a farm? Yes! Sounds like we have some support. You guys are ready to count. We're going to say one, two, three. Go, Travis. Old McDonald had a farm. And on this farm we had a farm. Oh, 
Oh. And then what oh, sound do we make? Like? And then we go. And a, just one finger. <laughs> moo, moo, moo. Moo, moo, here. And a moo, moo, there. Here, moo, there, moo. Everywhere, moo, moo, moo. Moo, moo, moo. moo, 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 mo
Good job. Very good. Go that way, Matt. You wanna? Okay. Oh. All right. Can you say hello? Hello. Say hello. hi to your friends. Hi, Matt. Hi, Travis. Give us a song, Matt. Oh, no. <laughs> so there's lots of different. Um, numbers and cues up here and I'm wondering if we were to press zero. <laughs> no. Okay, let go. Okay. And let's try. Okay, now try. Hmm. Okay. 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 Oh wow! Doesn't that sound really deep? careful. Great job. I'm really proud of you guys trying, even though it's very scary. Hi, friends. What's your name? Michelle. Okay, let's go. your step. Question. 
Does that sound like the number of keys that we were supposed to have yeah. on our page? Yeah. Let's double check. Yeah. What number is this? A standard One. modern piano has how many keys, Patricia? 88 keys. Now, how many keys, black keys did we have on our piano? We had 25 on here. We only had 25 on here. So it said, what number is this? 36. Oh, my goodness. So guess what? We just found out this is not a standard modern piano. It's great. It's a donated keyboard. It's a Yay! It's a keyboard. It's a so this 36 black keys, we have only 26. But it still makes a lovely sound, doesn't it? Now, since the white keys has 52, wow. Do you guys want to try to count those real quick before we end our day? Is that okay? Do we have time? Do you guys want to help me count? Yeah. Okay, yes. you know what? You at home, help me count. Get your pointers out. Patricia, you ready to do this before lunch? Yeah. Who's exhausted? No. One, Take a deep two, breath. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 2, 3, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 9, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And then hit that one. All right. Again, it validates that we are not a standard size piano. There are only 36 keys, you guys, out of the 52. Right, Travis? Out of the 52. Thank you for helping us learn that. And um, yeah, okay. All right. Thank you. Patricia, thank you. Let me help you get safely behind there. All right. Fantastic. Hey, come on, Carrie. We're going to show them our skills. Oh, here we go. What are we doing here? Oh, no. Ready? Okay. Put your hands up there. All right. Go. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Is this automatic? It does. <laughs> no. How fun. And. Wow. Isn't that fun? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. That's my favorite button. Thank you all for being patient, Thank learning you. and talking about Thank piano. You. Vicky, yes. Lisa Stewart knows how to play the piano. Are you kidding me? Do we need to go find Lisa Stewart? Let's, we need to ask her. All right, everybody, hold on. We might have a special guest. How exciting. Please be patient with me. Again, we really do appreciate Twee in her art class. We enjoy all of our live stream editions. Um, it is springtime, and we're doing lots of arts and crafts. Easter is almost upon us. April 1st is almost upon us. Make sure when you're doing your April Fool's jokes, be respectful. Always um, always be safe and keep your mask still on and wash your hands. Keep those rules going. Right, on, right, Patricia? You're doing super great. You guys are awesome. You guys are always following the rules, and I can't be thankful enough. When you're doing downtime, you always have to remember... Uh, the the Elwin rules of you know um, yep uh, uh, social distancing washing hands and staying safe and keeping um, I have our special guest no how exciting you guys I'm so grateful come on down please watch your step as you come around she said she kind of now this is a keyboard can you say hello to our friends. Hi, how are you guys? Can you introduce yourself? My name is Lisa Stewart. Now, Lisa Stewart, we've invited you into the AEP 
absolutely fabulous fun room. We've been doing art class and learning about pianos in our packet. You're out uh, at what, what do you do here at Elwyn? Are you in the ADS or SIT program? I'm in the ADS. Correct, and you've also been at the SIT program too, correct? Yes. And you've enjoyed all aspects of Elwyn? Yes. Do you feel safe and wonderful here? Yes. Aww. Aww. And do you like your new supervisor? I sure do. What's her name? Sylvia. Oh, fantastic. Okay. So, um, Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. Please, and, and who taught you how to use the piano? I, I took lessons when I was a little girl, and then mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've been playing piano and organ for for quite some time ago, but it's been many years, so I've forgotten how to play. <laughs> so well, let's I'll just maybe play like a couple of notes for you guys, and then uh, maybe you can catch on what later on. Oh no, catch on the, later on. Oh, there it goes. Okay, what, what, what I'm playing. Here we go. Yeah. Listen up. Like a chord or something. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No.